Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle, welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Fortnite Battle Royale, and I wanted to share with you guys how to complete the Horde Rush Challenge, eliminate members of the Horde with headshots as quickly and easily as possible. Now all that you have to do to complete this challenge is get 500 headshots in this game mode, which is very easy to do if you follow through with what I'm about to share with you. You should be able to knock out most of these in one game, if not all of them. Uh, the best way to go about doing this is to do them in the very first round. So if you've yet to play the game mode, there's essentially three rounds. The first round, you're just surviving. It, I think you get two minutes to gather resources, weapons, whatever. You're in a small circle and zombies come from multiple different directions. It's fairly easy. Uh, the second round is a little bit more challenging. You have to start moving with the storm. Zombies are coming from everywhere. There's a few more zombies this time, different types of zombies in the horde. Uh, and then the final round, you have the big boss that you have to kill while you're being attacked from every direction. Uh, and the storm is also moving. So the best way to go about doing this challenge is to try to get as many headshots at the beginning of the game as you possibly can. Uh, I wouldn't recommend destroying any of the spawners. You want as many zombies to spawn in as possible. If you do shoot the spawners, however, every couple times you shoot, it will force more zombies to spawn. So you can do that. However, don't destroy it completely. You kind of just want to shoot at them individually uh, until they start spawning more zombies. You're going to have plenty of zombies in the horde in the first round. There are a ton. You have several minutes to survive and uh, and you should be able to rack up a lot of headshots there's a couple different ways you can do this the zombies are going to come from multiple directions but the first round they're fairly slow um, it's almost like playing Call of Duty zombies. They don't come from too many directions. Um, it's not difficult whatsoever. So you can stay on the ground. You can kind of just pay attention, line yourself up, get, put yourself in a corner uh, on the edge of the circle, and you can kind of just shoot them one by one. That works. Or if you want, depending on where your circle is in the game that you're in, uh, you can build yourself up on top of a building. You can build your own base and kind of like set up a ramp in one direction so that all the zombies are going to come from one direction. I would recommend building on the edge of the storm. That way you don't have to worry about zombies coming up behind you. They're not going to spawn in the storm at the beginning. Now, they will as the storm starts to move and later on in the, in the last couple rounds. But at the very beginning, uh, they're going to spawn mainly in the circle. You shouldn't have to worry about them coming up behind you. But again, you can kind of just pose yourself up in a corner. You can build yourself up on top of a building, uh, get them all to come in one direction. Very, very easy. But guys, first round is the best time to get these headshots. Um, you're probably not going to get all 500 in the first round. I'm pretty sure it's, it's impossible. I don't think there's 500 zombies that will spawn. Um, but try to kill them as quickly as possible because the more that you kill, the more that are going to uh, the more that are going to spawn in, and uh, and you want to move quickly so that you can get as many as you can. The second round isn't too difficult as well. The only difference is the storm starts moving, so it gets a little bit more challenging. But uh, if you don't get them all in the first round, second round you should be able to do pretty well. But this is basically the tips that you need to be able to get this challenge done as quickly and easily as you possibly can. Pay attention at the beginning of the match and only go for headshots. You'll be able to rack these up really, really quickly. But if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. You guys can also reach me on Twitter, Instagram, at Dylan Furrow. Links to my social media can be found down in the description. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?